Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I know that about 70% of you guys out there are, are women. And I really owe it all to you guys for my career taking off like it did. Without your support, this wouldn't even be possible. So, I just have one thing that I want to say to you guys tonight. Why the fuck aren't you in the kitchen? Domestic violence? Me and the guys all love domestic violence. Because that's what guys like. And I made this special oh, for the boys. Brother, this guy stinks! And that was the vibe of Matt Rife's comedy special. Welcome back to the light side of the internet. My name is Ray Like Sunshine, and today we're going over why exactly Matt Rife's comedy special was just the worst. Also, is it just me, or is there something always off about dudes named Matt? You got Matt Walsh, Matt Gates, Laundra Matt. Watch out for the last guy, cause he'll take you to the cleaners. Matt Rife is the latest guy to be added to this list. Sorry, wrong picture. Sorry, wrong picture. There you go. For those of you who aren't familiar with the current sitch, Matt is a comedian who had a meteoric rise to fame after he blew up on TikTok. He's actually currently blowing up on TikTok once again, and uh, not for a good reason. Matt is known for his admittedly good crowd working skills, but what he's more known for is his physical attractiveness by his own words. I mean, people don't want to laugh at like physically attractive people. Like you don't want to walk on stage and have people looking at your arms rather than listening to your jokes. I think it just makes me work that much harder on the material and the jokes that I'm trying to tell to get people to focus on the real show at hand. Dude, I just have to be like such a good writer. People come to my show and I just have to be like, stop jizzing yourself, dude. The running joke is that because he's hot, the vast majority of his fans are women. I guess this didn't really sit well with Matt because during the run-up to the special, Matt was very adamant about this special being for the boys. Which, okay, I can totally get. Girls? P.U. This is a no girls allowed zone, alright? We're not trying to get cooties here. In an interview with Variety, Matt said the following. One thing I wanted to tackle in this special was showing people that despite what you think about me online, I don't pander my career to women. I would argue this special is way more for the guys. Okay, interesting take. Let's see what his opener was. Baltimore, one time I ate lunch there and the hostess who like seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. <laughs> A full black it wasn't like what happened it was pretty obvious what happened and we couldn't get over the fact that we we're like this is the face of the company like this is this is what you have greeting people and my boy who i was with was like yeah i feel bad for her man i feel like they should you know, put her in the kitchen or something where nobody where nobody has to see her face you know and i was like yeah but i feel like if she could cook she wouldn't have that black eye so, <laughs> just testing the water seeing if y'all are gonna be fun or not So there's a lot to unpack here. So unsurprisingly, and with good reason, Matt started to receive a lot of backlash. There's a lot of calls for canceling him, and there seems to be a divide of people who thought the joke was kind of in bad taste, and people who have don't step on the snack flags. Also, who the hell on Matt's team greenlit this? I can only imagine the conversation with his manager going, you know, Matt, I've been thinking, uh-huh. I think we're doing a really good job. I think we might even be doing too good of a job. Okay, I'm listening. So, and hear me out on this. What if we spent the first minute of this special completely ostracizing 70% of, of our fan, fan base so we can appeal to young teenage, teenage boys? boys? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just said the same thing. Did we just say the same thing? I think we just said the same thing. Are, Are we, we gonna, gonna kiss? kiss? And it's not so much the fact that he made a domestic violence joke that has people so mad at him. A lot of comedians have made domestic violence jokes and their careers have been fine without receiving any backlash. The difference here is that Matt made these jokes not to be funny, but literally just to antagonize his fan base because he was afraid to pander to women. Here's what, here's what I don't get. You have a huge fan base of women go out of their way to go to your shows because they think you're hot and you're funny. Matt. You were fucking set. You could have ridden that wave forever. But what does Matt do instead? He says, you know what? I actually don't want women to be my fans. I would rather have a fan base of crusty 16 year olds who have never been in the same zip code as a woman. And here's the thing. 
Matt wasn't always like this. I've seen him on TikTok for a while now, from before he was even really big. His jokes weren't always this edgy. I feel like it's just a fact that his newfound fame got to his head and he just felt invincible. So invincible, in fact, that he forgot about the pretty privileged matrix. You guys all probably know about the hot to crazy matrix for women. What you guys may not know about is the pretty to privileged matrix for men. On the bottom here, we have your pretty access. Now, the difference between this and the hot scale is that this is based on the the female gaze, meaning it's not just physical attractiveness that counts. If you're super funny, you're gonna be put near the tens. If you're not, you're gonna be docked a few points. Hey, don't blame me. I don't make the rules. Here on the side, we have the privilege access. In essence, everything you can get away with based on how attractive you are. This line here represents the fuck around zone. Everything below that, free game. Everything above that, the find out quadrant. Now, as you can see, once you get to eight on the pretty scale, the line starts to become horizontal because there are some things that no matter how attractive you are, you can't get away with. Jokes about crystal girls, low hanging fruit in the threes. Jokes about <laughs> straight into the find out quadrant. Now, jokes about domestic violence, hear me out here, not necessarily in the find out zone. They're borderline or on the fuck around line. Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr have both made jokes on domestic violence and they still manage to make it work within their stand up set. Now, making jokes about domestic violence for the sole purpose of appeasing 16 year olds? Straight to the find out zone. Matt, you could be a 10 on this pretty scale and you would not be able to pull off those types of jokes. And unfortunately for you, I would say you can do at most stripper jokes. And that's kind of why I think this comedy special in particular received the backlash that it did. It just wasn't that funny. And Matt took jabs at domestic violence victims for the sole reason of ostracizing his audience. And I think his thinking that guys find that funny speaks volumes about the type of person Matt is and the types of people that he hangs out with. Matt Reif is like that one guy who is totally oblivious that nobody else wants him at the party. I was talking to Alice the other day and, and she actually- Yo! Are we talking about girls, dude? Yeah, um, we were just talking about our friend Alice. Oh, tell me about it, right? They're so stupid. Sure. So anyways, like I was saying, Alice- Yeah, Alice better stay in the kitchen if she knows what's good for her, am I right, guys? Do you even go to this school? The rest of the special was anything but. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I couldn't even make it halfway through just because of how unfunny it was. I was 20 minutes in and I didn't even chuckle. Not one chortle, not even one slight <laughs> exhale out of my nose. There was nothing funny about it. And it was all made worse by the bad taste left in my mouth after the first five minutes. In response to the backlash, Matt doubled down on Instagram, posting a story that said, if you've ever been offended by a joke that I've told, here's a link to my official apology, which leads you to a website for helmets for special needs people. Very, very classy, Matt. Overall, it's not that Matt made a joke about domestic violence that gave so many people the ick, though that did contribute to it. It's the fact that it wasn't even comedic. It wasn't for the comedy. It was him trying to prove that he was one of the boys. And I think I speak for most men in saying that we don't claim this guy. We're not here to catch those strays, Matt. All right, leave us out of this shit. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.